Hey, Overlord. It's me again. Drake. In this build, I decided to make a spaceship. This build, like any great story, begins with dirty cardboard and a spray bottle. I went to the local dollar store, bought some spray bottles. Then I got home and my wife yelled at me. Told me there was old ones I could use, so I took it apart, too. I took all the nozzles apart, thinking I would use them in this build. But I didn't. I just used the bottles. And, you know, spare parts here and there. Before the build, I had to clean up my workstation and acquired some help. Without any sort of vision or plan... I started gluing together the bottles. I never know how much glue to use, so I use all of it. In the end, I wind up with a five-bottle hodgepodge. At the thrift store, I picked up these purple curlers. I'm not sure how they work, but they fit in nicely with my build. After trying them on for size, I sanded them down and glued them in place. I tried experimenting and cut one in half to see what it looked like. Then I tried them here and there, flipping it over, trying it in place, and then I found out maybe if I just, you know, smash it down on a bottle, it would look cool, and I tried it. Ended up looking like a panel that's what I ended up going with. But before I ended up committing to the panel, I decided to glue down a couple more of these tubes. If you have kids, like I do, you probably have a collection of these little plastic medicine cups. They fit perfectly in the end of these purple tubes. At the local big box store, I found these practice plastic golf balls. They fit perfectly in the ends of these plastic tubes, so I just jammed them in place. A while back, my kids got these little, cheap, build-your-own robotics kit. They never used it, so I stole it. Figured I could use it on this build. Oh look, I unlocked a bonus level. In this level I need to take these parts and assemble them and try to make myself some sort of stand. I'm not sure what these parts were intended for. I threw away the instructions. They make a perfect spaceship stand. If I had any sort of vision 
for this build, I would have cut off the tops. Before, I sort of glued them together, but I don't, so I didn't. Then I cut these balls in half to see what they look like on the inside. Turns out they work perfectly to make little booster rocket things. Then I took another purple tube and jammed it in the middle bottle. It fit perfectly. I used another ball, but I turned it sideways and jammed it in place also. I'm using little plastic garden tabs to fill in gaps behind the purple tubes. I found out that if I take my plastic cutters and I clip on the plastic tubes, they shatter into these little organic, irregular shapes. Turned out I liked it better than using the Dremel to cut them. I use a couple little parts as some extra panels and some little pieces to hide the base of the rocket booster things. Not a lot to say here. Kind of boring and self-explanatory. I guess it's a perfect time to ask you to like, subscribe, and share. And if you don't mind, leave a comment below telling me what you'd like me to build next. That'd be really helpful. I use these little strips to make little irregular shapes on these tubes. It helps to break up the monotony of it. I like the look it gives it. It gives it a very unfinished look. I used a couple more plastic tag things to make a couple panels on the front. I stole a bath bomb mold from my wife and jaggedly cut out the outside. Then I glued it on the big bottle in the middle to make a cockpit. I didn't think the cockpit looked complete, so I took some foam and painstakingly glued it onto the bottom half of the cockpit, but it was all out of frame, so I didn't include it. I took a hairband, cut it, and glued it in place over the top part of the cockpit to make a, a seal or a weld over it. Then I took some of those cheap robotic parts and cut them out and glued them all over the surface of the ship. Yikes, this is taking a little long. 
I wonder if my temporal eviscerator can help speed things up. Yep, that totally won't mess up the space-time continuum or anything, but at least this video is going a little faster. At this point, you may be asking yourself, does he have any plan or vision? The answer is no. I'm just taking these parts and gluing them willy-nilly all over it, trying to make it look a little less like spray bottle, more like a spaceship. Ah, uh, this build is taking too long. I wonder if this code still works. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. Sweet. After I was a good way into the build, I realized there were humongous gaps between the bottles. So I took this piece of, uh, foam that I got from the thrift store and I cut them to fit roughly in place and then I glued and smashed them so that it looked like not five bottles stuck together but one piece. Then I added little rhinestones to make rivets. I couldn't find a good way to get them from my little pile onto the ship. So I, I used a crayon and I sharpened it really well and applied just a little bit of pressure. It was enough. I had about 95% success rate. I would get 10, 15, 20, and then I would lose two or three. It was pretty good. It worked, it worked decently well. After the rhinestone, I did the same with little glass beads I wasn't sure how it would turn out, and I'm still not sure I'm entirely pleased with it, but I kept them all on there. After I was done with the rhinestones and the beads, I used my X-Acto knife and scratched little score marks into the ship. I just wanted a little bit of texture that the paint would sink into when I primed it. After priming, I did a black wash, just black paint, some water, and a little bit of soap. I started to dab it off with a paper towel, but then I just kept it on there and dried it with an old hair dryer. After the wash had dried, I used this metallic paint and Dry brushed it, just trying to bring out the highlights and make it look metallic. At this point, I thought it looked pretty good, but because I can't leave well enough alone, I decided to paint it some extra colors. I started with yellow. I painted all the panels yellow. And then I painted all the foam pieces green. And then uh, in between, I painted some tan shades.
I'm not sure why, but when painting, I decided not to paint the foam piece on the bottom of the cockpit. I don't know what I was waiting for, and after I started painting the rest of it, I just didn't, and then it was too late, and then I didn't feel like going back and fixing it, so I just left it unpainted. After I finished painting, I took this shade of green, and I don't know why, when I bought this from the store, I decided I was going to make a wash out of it. And so I just covered this whole thing with this, this green wash. In hindsight, this is probably not the best idea. I'm not sure why I decided to do this. It turned all the tan things just this really gross green shade and just looked like a big booger spaceship. Not at all what I was imagining. In a moment of panic, I decided to do a gray wash over the green. I don't know if this got better or if it made it worse. Then, to add insult to injury because I really don't know what I'm doing, I did a black wash over the whole thing. This really made it look bad. It covered up all the paint that I just did. And just it just didn't turn out anything like I imagined it. I was really frustrated at this point. In a fit of desperation, I turned to YouTube and found that I could use an old toothbrush and scrub off some of the layers of paint. This worked really well as it exposed some of the previous layers. I did this in various spots randomly over the ship. Then I took that same metallic paint and I covered this cockpit area with it. I didn't want it to just be flat gray. I wanted it to look like an actual cockpit. Use that same metallic paint, hit a couple areas with some highlights, painted the rivets, and then I did a really good dry brushing over the whole thing to bring out just the edges and the highlights and the features. Then I was done. All in all, I think this turned out pretty good. I think the one thing that I'm learning through all of this is, even though it looks bad in the middle, don't give up that you will eventually, if you keep pushing through, get something that looks pretty awesome and that you're proud of.
Thank you for taking your time to watch this overload. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment below about what you would like me to make next. If you see the Emperor in passing, please mention my name to him. Maybe possibly ask him to shorten my exile on this miserable little planet. His very